morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. So I realize it's been um, a really long time <laughs> since I vlogged in my classroom, but that is just because I have been going through the motions of getting the school year started. And um, to be honest with you, I just really haven't found the time to vlog, to pick up the camera and vlog. Um, I spend a lot of time working with my team. So we were having conversations, we're working together. And so it just has never felt like the right time to sit and pick up the camera and like get something done. <laughs> um, but I'm here a little early. It's seven o'clock and Cash is not here. He's with Scott. Scott's going to take him to school. Um, but I thought I'd just like do a regular day in the life vlog, like as a teacher, you know, one of, like an oldie. Um, so room is still looking good. Um, a couple things. I have to take these down when the fire department comes. Um, and a lot of us have stuff up on our ceilings that we're supposed to take down when the fire department comes, uh, the fire marshal. Um, but a lot of us have not taken things down yet. So I think we're all just kind of waiting until that day comes and then we'll take it down. Um, which, you know, is kind of like waiting till the last minute, but it's fine. Um, anyway, so I've had some time to like get the management systems like dialed in. And so I know I'd promised like a video on like management systems, um, classroom management systems. I'm not going to brag about my Chromebook system because it's garbage. Um, my students, uh, well, to be fair, yesterday we were kind of rushing, but I have two computers that didn't even get, get put in the cart. So, you know. There's that. Uh, we'll see how that goes later. But no, the system I'm talking about, um, so I have like headphones here that are in Ziploc bags and they're supposed to um, put them back in the Ziploc bags. Well, you know, they don't always do that. So I need to be better at making sure they do those kinds of things. And then I have wind folders here that again, yesterday was kind of a big rush. So we didn't really get to like, normally I'd be back here, like helping put them back and making sure they look nice, but I didn't do that. And then um, I also have science notebooks, which we've only used like three times this year. Um, so I have to kind of decide if I'm gonna continue using these because I do have textbooks now, um, or rather student workbooks that I can use, which I really wanna try to dig into next quarter um, because we have three, this is week four, so after this, three weeks until fall break. Um, and I am doing social studies. So, um, yeah. Anyway, those systems. Um, and then this over here, funny story, um, ended up using this card, uh, uh, construction paper organizer to organize paper flow. Um, and it's been working out pretty good. I have all of my like extra copies in here and then on the countertop and then more here. And then this is like pass back. So like block one, pass back, block two, block three. I have a no names basket and then I have a win inbox, which is our intervention block because I do have a different group of students turning in different assignments during that time. So um, this is hopefully going to get like changed and worked out. I do want to spray these black. Um, and then I would like to maybe get a couple more of these if I can find them, like if someone else on campus has them, because I like them. Um, I hate the color, obviously, but they work really well. And then I can put my construction paper back in here um, and then, you know, use it as it's supposed to be used. But for right now, it's doing a great job managing paper flow. Um, when a student is missing an assignment or they need to redo it, they know right where to come and get it. Um, or if they were not there and they missed it, they can come here and get a new copy. Um, so that's been working out. What else is new? Um, I got some of those dwarf frogs. So they're happy in here. And um, they were actually a gift from my sister for my birthday. So this is the one floating is Princess Tiana. And then the chunky one is Prince Naveen. And then I have two snails. There's one right there. I don't know what he's up to. That's Gary. And then SpongeBob is somewhere around here. He's the bigger of the two. He likes to hang out on the pineapple, which is kind of ironic. So anyway, but so I wanted to 
find a solution for the headphone debacle because a lot of the times the kids are having to get up and come back here and grab the headphones and then at the end they have to put them back and it's kind of a rush. So I ordered something that I thought would help with this and we're going to see if it does. Um, it might end up being just more <laughs> management, but I bought these from Amazon and I thought they could go right here and inside of them I could just put five sets of headphones in the bags and then that way it eliminates the need to get up and go back there and then come back and have to do that twice. So this could be where all the headphones live. Um, so I, I mean, I don't know. We'll see if that eliminates the problem. We could probably put more than just headphones in there, but for now that's all it's gonna do is be a headphone storage. Um, so the only thing is that these kids here will have to be like conscious that this basket's here and not knock it over. <laughs> um, and then of course, you know, these are already getting destroyed, but as to be expected, yeah. Uh, let's see, what else is new? Um, we're currently working on Native American studies. So we are digging into our native tribes and then next week we'll be starting research projects. Um, social studies is pretty project based for me. I use this, I don't even remember where I got this. I honestly don't know if I have it on TPT or not, but if you go Google search early American Indian culture, mini books or something like that on TPT, you might find it. I just think it's a great way to introduce like the regions and like which tribes lived in each region. It gives you a quick like five point grade um, too. And then it acts as a resource for the kids when they're doing research projects. Um, so we started yesterday, we read the first two passages and then today we're gonna read the next two. And hopefully we'll be done with that by the end of the week so that I can teach some research skills and how to use Google. Um, like how to cite resources and things like that. And then next week we can actually just dig right into um, research because October 4th, today is no, October, uh, September tw uh, 19th. And I would like their projects to be due and done by October 4th because the quarter grades are due the 5th or 6th. And I would like to have this project on their fourth or their first quarter social studies report card. So I'm crossing my fingers. It all works out. Um, I have some pretty amazing kids this year um, and some pretty amazing families. So I'm pretty confident that they'll be able to get it done. Um, what else is new? <laughs> um, I'm getting a student intern from Northern Arizona University. I'm actually meeting her today via Zoom. Um, and I think she'll only be here like once a week. So, um, but she really wants to get into teaching. So I was like, okay, well, this is like the perfect opportunity because you can watch me teach twice and then you can try and, um, you know, lead the class. And she's like super stoked about it. So I'm meeting her and her professor today online on Zoom. Um, and actually her professor is a prior colleague of mine um, when I worked in uh, the other school with Jennifer. Uh, so it's really fun to be able to reconnect with her and like be able to help out another student teacher. So um, anyway, okay, so I'm sitting down at my desk. I'm going to get started with my morning routine, which is really just like making sure that all my slides for the day are ready. Um, I need to assign a ReadWorks task for my win group. Um, because they're going to be doing some progress monitoring with me today and, um, they need something to work on that's independent. So I'm going to do read works with them. Um, I actually have the high win class. So all of the students in my group read over 120 words per minute. Um, and they're typically like far above, um, proficiency. So... I tend to give them harder, more independent tasks that will, you know, test their skills and abilities on a higher level. So I'm gonna assign them a new one today. And 
I want to assign them some like Galileo tests. I think that would be good just to like see where they're at, test their skills. Maybe I could do that. E either way, I like to give them a quick assignment and then, um, and then let them read independently while I pull students back to do progress monitoring with me. What should I do this time? Let's see. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to do that. Check my slides. And then it's 7.15 now. Um, so I'll just kind of like putz around and get ready for the day. And then if I get a chance during any of my breaks, I'll pick you guys up and give you a update on how the day's going. <laughs> Okay guys, my brain <laughs> at 4.30 in the afternoon, it ain't working. I left my purse inside that has my car keys in it. I made the wrong copies. See, this is why teachers should not work past contract hours, because we make mistakes. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't like leave my keys so I can get back in but I have to park a little bit away from the building so I have to walk all the way back in get my purse and then I can go home it's fine. I just signed up for tutoring a couple of days a week and I'm super excited about it because they pay $30 an hour. Um, and so I think I'm gonna get like four extra hours a paycheck or four extra hours a week. So that's eight extra hours a paycheck, which is gonna be which is gonna be super nice.
Okay, we're gonna try this again. We have the purse, we have the keys. Now let's go. Okay, so I was successful in getting in the car, but I left my big gallon jug of water in the classroom. So, uh, tomorrow I'll have to bring like an extra water bottle full so that I can have my gallon. Or honestly, I could probably just drink what's left of the gallon and call it a day. All right, today was wild. Um, it went really well. Two of my classes are behind though. Um, because their warm up took a lot longer than I expected it to. So I might have to bring it down a little bit. Um, it was like a quick, like five questions that were on the reading packet. I think I showed you guys. Um, so we just read like one passage and then they had five questions. Honestly, it's just a quick grade for me. Um, something to get the juices flowing for social studies because I do have to have two grades a week. Um, and I wanted to have a lot of little small grades to go in alongside of their two projects. So, um, anyway, I'm just going to have to slow it down and do like maybe one a day, but still have the goal to be done with that this week. So, um, anyway, it's 441. I don't usually stay this long after school, but I did get some grading done. I graded two of those question sets and then updated social studies grades. So there are three grades in there now. Um, which is great. So um, a lot of the kids were missing them just due to the fact that they probably didn't press the submit button because you know that's how things go. Um, and then I'm starting a new system. We're going to see how it goes. One of the biggest problems I have, like my students, sorry this thing is like super wobbly. My students are amazing. I really love them. They're all really good kids. They're really chatty. That is my only complaint. They're really chatty. So in my efforts to contain the chattiness, I've decided to do class of the day. What I'm gonna start doing is collecting tallies for how many times I need to redirect the whole class. That just means like in between me talking or giving instructions, a conversation starts and multiple students are talking. So if I have to bring it back whole class, like use one of my attention grabbers, that's gonna be a tally mark. And I'm gonna keep track of how many times I have to do it within each 60 minute block and the class that has the least amount of tally marks gets class of the day. Then I'll keep track of which classes are winning every day and the winning class who gets the most class of the days in a week gets a prize on Monday. That prize could be anything. It could be 10 extra dojo points. It could be free treasure box. It could be 10 minutes of free computer time. It could be an otter pop at recess. It could be an Oreo cookie. It could be a bag of popcorn. Like it could literally be anything I want it to be. It'll be a little something special on Monday when they come in just to celebrate their success. And so if that works out, I'll let y'all know. Um, and then my other two teachers said, let us know if it starts working because we could do like class of the week collaboratively, like which class, you know, did the best in all three classes, you know, in all three teachers rooms. Um, and then we can also get specials involved and like go for it. So anyway, I'm going to start that. Oh, I started it today and it worked really well. The kids were like way more motivated to stop talking and like, I didn't have to continue bringing them back to attention. So it, it did do pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to go home. It's almost five o'clock. I am exhausted. I do want to go to the gym. I might go after I put cash to bed. Um, we'll see, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already, don't forget to follow my social medias. I haven't been active. Like I mentioned before, I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I'm in this like zone of like focus where I don't want to stop doing what I'm doing to like pick up the camera, but I want to, but I don't. <laughs> it's weird. So anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching and for being here. Don't forget to follow my socials, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.